All right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video, and today we're going to take LR Krillin into Extreme Super Battle Road. This is going to be a pretty good test for him. Um, I did stack up on a lot of units on the team that'll give extra defense, because I do think Krillin will be able to be hit sort of hard depending upon the situation, so um, I do want to be careful about that. Um, I do have a couple of Kid Gohans here. Um, and also I've got some Goku, so Gohan will be able to look pretty good. Okay, so that's seven key. Um, that is a 16 key super attack, which is fine. Um, so let's go ahead and do this. Now, Krillin is an AoE unit, and he does have a chance to stun with every single attack. So, I, I mean, let's just see how this is going to go. Uh, this Goku's going to struggle a little bit. We could die on this first turn, but I want to see how this is going to go without using items. That sucks. That's not too bad. 49k is not horrible. I mean, he's not going to stack defense until he... 18 uh, key super attack. So it's not going to get better than that. Hopefully we can get some stuns. Stun, stun. Ooh. Double super attack. So obviously that's very good. Uh, we need some stuns though. Uh, at least a 1 in 6 chance. Okay, that's good. Nappa got stunned. So at least we got one of these dudes stunned. Gohan could potentially stun Vegeta? He did. Clutch, clutch, clutch. Okay. That worked out pretty good, actually. Um, Okay, so Krillin did some decent damage. I mean, here's the thing. I intentionally brought defense units uh, to help out with Krillin, but we didn't have any in turn one, right? Um, let me... Because we're not going to have any defensive units next turn for Krillin, I'm actually going to go ahead and use a... Hmm. I'm going to use... This is tough. I think I'm going to use an Android 8 M, and I'm going to use a Whis as well. So next turn is not going to be a good representation of Krillin's defensive abilities, right? But I'm just being a little bit more on the safe side here. Seems as though Krillin will do fine, but he might be susceptible to taking very big damage. Um, because all three of these are support type units, Great Saiyan Man 1 and 2, unfortunately, are getting their 18 key super attack, which sucks. I mean, the two turn attack buff they're going to give is nice. But the ceiling ability that they would have, that it would have done on Vegeta, would have been way better, right? So, you know, it, it is what it is. Um, once we get one of these defensive units with Krillin, it, he'll be a little bit better. Honestly, the damage he took is not too bad. I don't think Super Physical is on the same level as Super Tech and Super AGL. One of the reasons is that the leaders aren't the greatest for Super Physical. Um, Super Int kind of has this problem as well. They don't really have a dominant, you know, LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku or something like that. I mean, really, I guess I, I could say the same for a lot of typings. It's like Gohan and Super Saiyan 4 Goku for AGL have like the craziest leader skills. So they like balance it by making that the hardest stage by far, right? Um, okay, so Krillin at 114k this turn, but again, I do want to remember that it doesn't matter because this isn't, uh, like, 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 this isn't Krillin, how many is this? Three, six, that's fine. This isn't Krillin, like, without, like, he's got defense items and stuff like that, so let's just focus more on his attack capabilities. He does stack attack on his 12 key AoE super attack, so that is good. Um, I think... For a lot of free-to-play players, I think this Krillin is going to be a very large uh, part in potentially beating this stage for the first time. I mean, LR Gogeta is here. You know, him and that fusion ability of theirs. You know, you get that off. That's going to be strong. There we go. There's another stun. And another super. So, I put Krillin... I think my Krillin has 11 additional and 12 crits is what I did. Another stun. Wow, okay. Pretty good. What? Dude, the, the additionals and the crits and stuff he's busting out are crazy right here, man. Um, but yeah, like, like I was saying, I, I, I went for sort of a mix because I would like him to get as many additionals as possible, obviously, but also, um, here, I'm going to push this Goku up, but also the thing is, is that I would like Krillin, I forgot my train of thought, <laughs> no, no, oh, I hate that. uh, yeah, Krillin, let's see, he stacks attack, uh, I, I, I lost it, I lost, I lost a train of thought, <laughs> oh, no. all right, well, anyway, Krillin's doing fine. Uh, AoE super attacks are very good in Super Battle Road because, you know, so many of these fights are going up against so many enemies. And with him, with the chance to stun, that makes him even better, especially on a stage like this right here. So we're going up against five enemies. So Krillin has five separate chances to stun. Again, I believe he has a 30% chance to stun. 100k defense right here. Okay. Um, he probably is going to be better off, yeah, with Krillin. Oh, because they have Z Fighters. Uh, Krillin and the Kid Gohan have got Z Fighters. That's good. 
I wonder if this kid Gohan would get the Saiyan Saga category, by the way. Probably not, because remember, he is just from the ending theme song. Um, and then the, the Goku, I think, is just from artwork, right? Like, I don't think he appears in any theme songs or anything like that. But, like, this is literally the very last shot of the first Dragon Ball Z ending. So, you know, I, I do wonder if they'd give him the Saiyan Saga. I'm very, very not certain. Uh, yeah, let's definitely go for the stun on Ginyu. And there, Jace is getting a, a, a cheap little attack in at the end right there. So let's go ahead and seal Jace. All right, so hopefully Krillin. Let's see. 40k is a lot. Hmm. If he can get, like, two or three stuns, though, like, he's definitely carrying his own weight. So let's see, Krillin. Nope. Nope. Krillin! Oh, no! That's bad. You know, we got a zero out of five turn like this, and we could be dead right here. Hopefully, Jace is going to... Ooh, we got the stun. That's good. Hopefully, Jace is going to super attack in that last slot. Oh, yeah, it's over. <laughs> okay, I mean, you know, that can happen. Uh, you know, so there is the bad side to our boy Krillin, unfortunately. Is if he does not decide to get any stuns, then we can very quickly bow out and just be incinerated. Do we have a... I don't think we have another Kid Gohan, unfortunately. Oh, boy. Here, let me go by Hybrid Saiyan. Perhaps if I go by Hybrid Saiyan... This is one of the issues here. Uh, oh, there is. Perfect. Okay, okay. We do have another Kid Gohan. All right, so let's go ahead and just jump back in. Right, we, we just want to get some turns in with Krillin, see how he's faring. The only thing is taking... Wow, we got the exact same lineup there. Uh, but taking 40k is not the greatest, but, you know, as a free-to-play unit, you know, you're much more likely to have this Krillin and have this Krillin rainbowed and stuff like that um, than you would be with, like, you know, some other unit. Hmm... Uh, I do want to keep 17 here for our boy Krillin, and I guess I'll do this right here. Because Krillin's coming in on turn 3, we'll go ahead and use a Whis, but then again, we did see how much damage Krillin is going to take, right? He's going to be taking the, uh, about 40k, and the other thing too is that in Extreme Super Battle Road, you know, because of his AoE and because we're going to be fighting multiple enemies in every single stage, we want him to do the AoEs. We don't want him to go for his 18k super attack, which is where he stacks defense, um, see, it's hard to say, because if he stacked defense on his 12 key, that would make him better in every event in the game, except for World Tournament. World Tournament is where him stacking attack probably is a little bit better, because he does have two guaranteed super attacks in the World Tournament, and potentially, you know, you could get three with the Hidden Potential System super attack as well. So, in there, you could get multiple attack stacks, you know, on the World, like, this, the World Tournament stage, and that Krillin could tear through enemy lineups super quickly, so... That could be very, very good um, moving forward. I, I'm, hmm, I just can't wait to use Krillin in uh, that Super Battle Road, right? Like, I, or uh, World Tournament. I really want to use Krillin in World Tournament and see how strong he's going to be. Because, you know, I, I saw some numbers that seemed to imply that he was relative to STR LR Broly. And it's like, wow. Because, like, you know, that LR Broly has been the king of World Tournament, like, undisputed for so long. And now we have another unit that's going to be able to sort of match him that's free to play. And the reason, by the way, that Broly has always been king and why Krillin can actually approach that is because Krillin in the World Tournament will double super attack, provided that there's the full enemy team is still alive. Um, but, like, Krillin getting double super attacks is going to be so huge. Like, that's going to be just absolutely monstrous. Okay, so here he's sitting at 100k. Again, we saw this, right? This is about 40k he's going to be taking in damage. Um, I don't want to use an item, though. Let's see. I mean, we, we could potentially die again right here, but, you know, th this is what we're trying to do is show off Krillin. Uh, yeah, 40-ish uh, K is about where we're going to see him. Um, but, you know, if he gets crits, if he gets additionals, if he gets stuns, he could be very good. Um, if you're using Krillin going through this event... Oh, we, wow, that's really good. Putting him in slot one is probably not... <laughs> thanks, Vegeta. Probably not the best idea. Like, you know, you're definitely going to want to rock Krillin probably in, like, slot 2 or slot 3 or something like that. But he does give himself key at the start of turn, 3 key. So, no matter what, he's only ever going to need 3 key to get his 12 key super attack. And that's what you want to do for Super Battle Road is get him that AoE 12 key. So, he is built very, very impressively for a lot of these events. Uh, like, I really do think they did um, a stand-up job with this Krillin. I, I think they made him fantastic. Um, you know, he's maybe struggled a little bit here, but, you know, keep in mind, Super Battle Road is not a joke. Like, it is incredibly difficult in here. Um, the fact that he is just a free-to-play unit and not a summonable unit 
you know, he's done enough that I think he will help out a lot of players, right? Because, again, like, super physical, I, they're, because of the way the leader skills are structured for a lot of those units, it does make team building very wonky. Like, you could go, like, double LR Bardock, which would be good. But remember, you know, your boy Bardock, it, you know, it's only giving 100% of stats, which is a little bit low. I went with double Kid Gohan because he's just, you know, three key and 120%, which is nice. Okay, so Krillin at 127k. Let's go ahead and knock out an 18 key super attack, and hopefully he can finish off our boy Raditz right here. So let me know what you guys think so far of LR Krillin here in Extreme Super Battle Road. I think he's good enough to get the job done. He definitely does deserve a roster spot. And, you know, because he's free to play, you will be able to have him rainbowed for sure compared to, like, you know, 17, Transforming Vegeta, LR Physical Trunks, LR Bardock, you know, all those types of top tier units. Many free to play players are not likely to have those quality of units rainbowed, right? Like, of course, you know, maybe if you've only summoned on banners that have had, like, LR Gogeta on it in the last two years or something like that, you might have him rainbowed and be, you know, ready for this. But, you know, there are a lot of instances where. This guy, this Krillin, I think is going to be outstanding for a lot of players. I mean, I, I, I really give Dokkan a thumbs up for this Krillin because this is a character that a lot of people wanted a ton of respect put on his name, and Dokkan gave it to him with a very good Prime Battle LR. I do think he probably is the best Prime Battle LR. I think the Cell is really good. Um, Trunks is super good for Super Battle Road still. And then Frieza is actually low-key a pretty solid unit also. I'm not the biggest fan of Prime Battle Vegeta. And then LR Tech Goku isn't the greatest either. But the rest are actually quite good, I think. Um, so let me know what you guys think of our boy LR Krillin. I thought he did a pretty admirable job, right? Um, let me see. Is there? There's a full power category stage. So I could take him into there. See how strong he could do just on a, a step down from Extreme Super Battle. I might do that. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you all next time.